In today's video, we'll explore Gutenna tabs. And the first thing we need to do is install the plugin. So let's hover over plugins. We'll click on add new. Now in the search box, we'll type in Gutenna tabs. Now let's install and activate this one. And once it's done, we should see it in this list. It's right here. Now let's go ahead and create a new post. Now let's call this one tabs. Now we need to add a new block. So let's click on this plus and we'll click on tabs. So now we have the option to choose any tab style that we want. I'm going to select this one. Now I'll open the list view and we'll see that this tab block has four different tabs inside of it. Now you'll definitely want to rename your tabs. So to do so, just click on the tab itself. I'm going to call this one info. And once you're done, you can go ahead and add your content and you can repeat this process for each tab that you want to edit. So for example, I can go to tab number two. I could just replace this with tab two content. And also, for example, if I wanted to add an image, I can just go to a new line and add an image block. Now, if we select the tabs block, we'll see all of its settings over on the right hand side. And the first option we have there is layout. And this basically lets you control the width of nested blocks in relation to the content width. And we also have a justification option to change the alignment of the block. I'll turn this off and we'll move down to our next options, tabs and containers. Under tabs, we have settings and there we can change our tabs alignment. So we have left, center, right and fluid. We can also adjust the spacing between tabs as well as the spacing after tabs. So this basically separates the content from the tab. We have an option to adjust padding as well. So you'll see that this adds space inside of the tab at the top. There is also an option for the bottom. Let's move to icon and here we can enable an icon. If we do this, we can change the position from top to left or right, depending on what we need. We can adjust its size as well as the gap between the icon and title. Now moving down, we have our basic typography options here as well. And then we have color with three main options. We have normal, hover and active. So under normal, here's an example where I'll change the text color to red. And that's for the inactive tabs. We can change the background color as well. And the same process applies to both hover and active. So you can go ahead and change the background and text color for each. Now we'll take a look at border options. And this layout is quite interesting. Uh, we can actually add values to each sides of the tabs up here. So let's go ahead and add one pixel to each side. We'll add one to the left, the right and the top. Now for the active tab, let's add three pixels to each side. And we cannot see anything as yet because we have not added a color for the border. So let's go ahead and choose a color. We can just use one from our default colors. So we'll uh, choose one of these here. We'll change this from green to blue and we'll apply this blue color to all of the other sides. We also have an option to change the line style so we can make it dashed. And that was the right, but we can do the same for the left as well. And you can also add some border radius to round the corners. And if you need to unlink the sides, there's also an option for this. Now the next option here is box shadow and again we have normal hover and active states we can go ahead and turn it on now if we scroll down we'll see three main options to change the intensity of the shadow and we can also use this color picker to choose a custom shadow color and finally we have responsive options for both tablet and mobile so now we'll move to container and here we have a color option and this is for the tabs content area. So here we can change the background color to this pink, for example. And if you want, you can also go ahead and change your text color. And if we go to border, we can also adjust the padding for the tabs. So here's 100 pixels and here's 20 pixels. And we have an option to add box shadow if we need to. And once you're happy with all of your settings, you can go ahead and click on publish. And now you can go ahead and view your post or page on the front end. Now, if you want to delete a tab, all you need to do is click on it, then click on the delete icon, then click delete. And if you want to reorder tabs, simply click on these side arrows. And finally, to add a new tab, click on the plus icon. All right, so now you should know how to use the Gutenna tabs plugin. Thank you for watching and see you next time.